is the sweetest little boy. He just kind of has a magnetic personality. We were so excited to have a little boy. Just excited to, to enter that next step of our life. The day Charlie was born, it just felt like our family was complete. When we received the diagnosis for Charlie, we were beyond devastated and terrified. The tremors and the issues with his hands were really our first sign that something was seriously wrong. We captured it on video when he was five months old. He was doing this pretty much daily. We started OT, we started speech, shortly after we started PT. He's just struggling. He struggles a lot with words. You can tell that he's behind other kids his Good age. Job. I instantly knew something was wrong. I went to grab Charlie out of his crib and I found him sitting in a pretty strange position, um, unable to move. Take him downstairs, try engaging with him. Um, Nate and Addie both try talking to him. He, he doesn't respond, he doesn't speak, he's just staring at us. This goes on for 15 minutes before he's able to say a single word. Reached out to the neurologist after this and he confirmed right away that that was a, a serious seizure and that this meant it was time to start daily medications. And this was started by another mom who had received the same diagnosis for her son a year before we did for Charlie. So one thing that's unique about this disease is that it's not a matter of if the cure will be developed, it's a matter of when. The only thing that's holding us back at this point is funding. It's more than $100,000 to help. So I keep saying that 300,000 people give $10, we will reach our goal of $3 million. And that is achievable, that is possible. Because you just want your, your kid to be happy and healthy. And I want him to have meaningful relationships in life, both with his sister and with other people. If Charlie receives the cure at an early enough age, we can give him a happy and normal life. Please visit acureforcharlie.org and donate today in order to improve the lives of Charlie and all kids affected by SLC 6A1. We appreciate all your support. Thank you.